Hey guys, so today we're making some beef and broccoli. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm starting with a pound and a half of flank steak. You could also use ribeye steak or a New York strip steak. And I am just cutting it into thinly sliced pieces just like this. You could also freeze your meat for a little bit so that it is easier to cut. But mine was out the refrigerator and it sat on the counter for a little bit and it, it came out just fine. And so I am adding in some cornstarch, some baking soda, and we're adding all of these ingredients to our meat so that it can sit and marinate and to uh, tenderize our meat. And so I am using some mirin, which is a Japanese rice wine, but the recipe actually called for uh, rice wine, like the Chinese rice wine, or you could use dry uh, sherry, something like that. But I didn't have that, so I just used what I had. And so I'm adding in some soy sauce, some black pepper, and a little bit of salt, not too much because uh, some of those other ingredients do have sodium in it. So you wanna be careful with that. Next, we're gonna start on the sauce for our beef and broccoli. So I'm adding in some soy sauce and I added a little bit of extra soy sauce because I did not have oyster sauce like the recipe said. So I am using hoisin sauce. <laughs> and so I did a lot of substitutions in this recipe, but if you have oyster sauce, please use oyster sauce. And again, I'm using mirin instead of the rice wine because I didn't have rice wine. And then I'm just adding in a little bit of black pepper. And this is gonna be the brown sauce that we use to put on our food once it is done. Um, and then you're gonna add your cornstarch, which is going to help to thicken the sauce as it cooks. And then you're just gonna put that to the side. And so now I have my wok, which is nice and hot. And I'm adding in some avocado oil. Um, some ginger and some garlic and I am just going to stir that up for 30 seconds or less and then I'm adding in my beef and don't overcrowd your pan because you want your beef to get nice and brown and so I am just cooking this and I'm going to cook it till it's well done because I'm serving this to my kids and so I'm adding in about 32 ounces of broccoli this is frozen broccoli that I thawed out um, and I am just stirring this up until it get nice and hot. I actually added more broccoli. This is only one bag of broccoli, but I added in two bags of broccoli, which totaled 32 ounces. And so this is me adding in my brown sauce and I am just stirring this up until it is combined and uh, distributed amongst the food. And this is the finished product, you guys. I just garnished it with some sesame seeds, and you could use some green onion to uh, garnish it as well. And so this was super delicious. My first time making it, guys. But I highly recommend this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.